NBA and the guys have been around and it's high time for us to break everything down. But DDK, someone actually messaged me and said, well, man, I, DDK makes me love NBA. Because <laughs> 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 I was saying, wow. Uh, you guys make it look so sweet. You know, part of this world, we don't really talk much yeah. in India, but well, great to have you guys once again. Thank and you, thank you. And I appreciate that person, whoever the person yeah. was. <laughs> thank you. Um, I see Kawhi as probably the third best player in the NBA um, in improvement without having to score 51 points like Kevin Durant. <laughs> um, um, yeah, the Raptors are on a hot streak. I think they have seven straight wins. Yeah. And they're doing big things. So. That team is also deep. Like, even be, be beyond the superstars. Oh, yeah. Like Serge Siakam, Ibaka. Serge Ibaka, yeah. OG and Anunobi, all these guys, like, they all want to play. But they're not going to the finals, by the way. They're in the East. And Celtics are also in the East. So, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Denver, like I said earlier, is the most underrated team in the NBA. They are now currently second in the West. Oh, who's, who's the special guy right there in Denver? Millsap. I think no, 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 I think Millsap gives Joker and everybody on that team confidence. Millsap has been to, um, he's been on a lot of winning teams, and uh, he's the strength of that team hmm. mentally. Well, I mean, okay, okay. well, Paul Millsap has been an All Star mm -hmm. in, in the conference finals, so I, I, I get what you're saying when it comes to experience, but when it comes to the actual play, mm. um, Nikola Jokic. Who I call the Joker, man. The boy, the guys, the boy is he's tremendous, and he's really young. And the most big men I don't know for passes, and True. the guy he makes some of the best passes True. in the league, you know. And he also scores. He carries that team, man. He just step up into that big occasion like LeBron, and you know lead the guys to victory. But uh, you, mean, you mean Grandpa Bron? <laughs> oh, okay. MVP, MVP. All right, you just talk about LeBron. Let's talk about uh, LA Clippers and. Uh, Hey, hey, I got I, my jersey. No, I, I saw it. I, 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 don't, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Clippers have no All-Stars and they are number one in the West. It wow. is it is crazy. It is unheard of. Doc Rivers, their coach, is doing a great job. And the players, I think they just they just bought in like they're like, you know what, I'm gonna fight for, you know, we're gonna fight for this, we're going to show this people that we also belong, even without all stars. And they're doing it. Doc Rivers is one of the best coaches in the NBA, definitely, without a doubt. Um, Clippers won't go far. I mean, this is the yeah. early league. Because they don't have the <laughs> players to carry them all season long. He hating. After, after 21 games. and Yeah. It's an 82-game season. So, this is what. Yeah, but for a quarter of the season, they're already number one. So, now this is that, the, this the fifth of the season. No, nah, 20 over 80. Yeah, that's yeah. a quarter. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, they're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to make the play the playoffs definitely. Let, let's get. I think the best player on that team is Tobias Harris, yeah. and I'm sure that nobody hears about Tobias Harris. Um, Matres, Ma, Matres Harrell. Yeah, he's good. Oh he's yeah, he's, he's yeah yeah he's, he's coming he's coming yeah. I like the fact that he even brought up the Lakers. So did you know that during the week there were reports that LeBron James now ignores the coach? What? Like his coach normally at I, 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 I the sideline, you know, mm -hmm. the coaches tell them, you know, run this play, run that play, you know. Do, they already have plays, so you could tell them, go and play number three. They know what he's talking about. Can I, can I say something? But when, when you're the best player in the league, mm. you're always going to be, you know, questioned of, of whether there's problems with you and the coach. You can't coach a player like LeBron. It's like coaching Messi. You can't do it. Um, wait, wait. <laughs> is that, is that wait, about the ego or something? Hold up. I don't think it has nothing to do with the ego. Which other greatest player has been questioned about co this coaching thing, though? That depends on which, which players you talking Magic Johnson was one of the greatest players. Kobe Bryant is the greatest player ever. Michael, <laughs> Michael Jordan. I, I don't think I remember a Michael Jordan versus. Um, yeah, Phil um, Jackson no, no. Player. If you want to talk about Kobe, Kobe had lots of problems with his teammates. That's all. Teammates, not coach. Yeah, because the coach was Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson is the best coach. Oh, well, yeah, so LeBron is the only one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what if the coach decides to, okay, you don't want to play our current instruction and decides to drop him? When you play basketball, plays like you know, like play one, two, three, plays are actually designed for people that are not really that good. All right, so um, they'll say, um, You run here, you run here. But as a great player, you know where to go, you know what, to, you know your strength, you know that once you go up, nobody can jump as high as you, you dunk the ball. But you know, when they want to create that structure, it is for those that are not that good. So I understand why he would do it, but I just know that it was a headline this year, this week.
Hey, I'm about, about to get don't stop. Hey, hey. He has a very uh, unique ability just to draw the foul. He, he's known for his Euro step, and he's a left-handed player as well. So um, he's spectacular, and his size is just like dominant. So well. First of all, Harden is annoying. Let's let's start, let's start from there. Like he's a great player. He was mm -hmm. obviously MVP last season. You know? Right. But he has this. Oh my gosh! Like normally, um, people foul you by coming to you and hitting you, mm -hmm. and then that's a foul. Harden will come to you. <laughs> you know, he will initiate the contact with you. He'll probably hit you first, and right. then obviously you have to. And then when you want to line, and LeBron is the one that's always driving the lane, but they don't give LeBron those calls. Maybe because he's not a superstar like James Harden. I think when you're the best player. You know. I, I mean, when Jordan was the best player, he used to get a lot of free yeah, throws. But the but NBA has changed. You have a lot a, a lot of offensive players now who are much better than when Jordan was around. You didn't have as many great players. What do you mean, though? Cause you didn't have number, Steph Curry's. You didn't have Yeah, Kevin but Durant, the number one and number Harden. two all-time scorers. Mm -hmm. Actually, one, two, three, and four were all in MJ's era. Yeah, because it's the previous era. Yeah, but he was talking of offensive players. Mm, uh, yeah, offensive players. But we're looking at Steph Curry about to break the three-point record in just less than ten years. Nah, look, if, if it's Steph Curry and three pointers, like okay, yes. so let's leave Steph Curry. Let's talk yeah, about Steph Curry is an Leonard. alien. Let's talk let's about, talk him about him. Durant. <laughs> let's talk about Harden. Let's talk about Westbrook. Look at the records they've already broken in just a ten years span. Well, first of all, Westbrook is special. Westbrook okay. is Westbrook. so I guess this era is special. Westbrook is the best player. Westbrook is the best player right now. So. Let's talk about Clay Thompson. He scored. I think it was two seasons ago. He scored sixty-two points in three mm. quarters. Well, yeah, yeah. Clay Thompson is is the microwave. Okay. Nobody hits up faster than Clay Thompson. Sh should Nobody. I continue? I'll, I'll start. Okay, the most unstoppable shot is Karim Abdul-Jabbar, ever. Okay. The hook shot. Nobody could stop that shot. True. Mm. So I mean, I mean, if you compare errors, but I don't think he played against Jordan, did he? He did. Maybe once, yeah. a, but maybe in in uh, towards the end of Kareem's career. Um, so they won some championships in the eighties. Jordan was drafted in eighty four. Yeah. And their last uh, final, their last NBA Finals meet uh, meet up was in 1991. So yes. they played the first seven years actively. They traded two of their very good defenders, and then they got Camilla Anthony to. I, I don't know what they thought he was going to come and do. He doesn't play any defense. Mm. He knows how to score. Well, he knew how to score. He's getting old as well. So he's... now he doesn't know how to score. Uh, I think it, com it comes and goes. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, long story. He doesn't have a team anymore. Like yeah. Rockets said, you know, we're done. Don't worry, we've paid you. Just, just stay home. We, we waved, they waved him. That, that's what it's called. So right now he's, he's on his couch somewhere. You know, chilling, looking for a new team. Looking for a new team. He probably will come and play for us in Oyo very soon. What? <laughs> 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 Trevor Ariza, which was uh, the small forward on the team mm. before Carmelo was a real big part of that team. He was playing defense and making threes. Even this guy, Lokumba Amute. Yeah. You know, Cameroonian yeah. yeah. Right, let's think about the one side that might not make the playoffs. Phoenix Suns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might not. <laughs> <laughs> or, or are you really counting think, them out? I think all of us in this studio, five of us here, yeah. we have a better chance of making the playoffs <laughs> than Phoenix Suns. So, so what's the way forward for Phoenix Suns? There's no way forward. <laughs> <laughs> no I think Westbrook is on, on, He's on fire. Best He's player on, in the on, world. Nah, I don't need that. Like, what, everybody's you? the best player that you like. Nah, but what, nah. just choose one best player. Westbrook. <laughs> no, when I said Kobe, I meant of all time. <laughs> Westbrook is the current best player in the league. Look, as soon as Westbrook came back, it was like, all right, all right, you know what? All that losing stuff, losing stuff, it ends now. So yeah. The man is in the building, you know. No, it, it's funny how one player can change a team. Yeah. Mm, you yeah. just come in and then the dynamics. And whatever the team, if they were struggling, they were, that's the, it depends on how great the player is. Like someone like LeBron was able to, you know. Did he have to be, did he, did he have to be the LeBron all the time? He secretly loves LeBron. Did he have to be LeBron all the time? LeBron is his favorite player. There's no place. I have no doubt about it. He's not my favorite player on the Lakers. I prefer Lance Stevenson. That's the person with any other. Lance and make and dance. I have a problem with those kind of wins. All right. I like close games because when your coach has seen that there's such a big margin, he'll just take out his stars. You know, you guys can go and rest. You know, we won this game. The problem with that is Westbrook, if he had played the full game, mm. he would put up big numbers. He's, he averaged a triple-double. So basically having double digits in points, rebounds, and mm -hmm. assists, he did it for 82 games. <laughs> that guy's a beast. Mm. But 
in games like this, they pulled him out. In this last game, he had 29 points, 10 assists, and 9 rebounds. If he had stayed in the game, he would have gotten that rebound. So another triple double. Do you understand? But these things tend to affect their numbers as well. Yeah, because you, you can't risk injury. Yeah, but I mean, come on, man. Let the man play. What happens if he gets injured? I mean, that's what happens. I'll, I'll cry. Right I'll now. cry. I'll cry. <laughs> if he gets injured, then Thunder will start struggling. Yeah. yeah. If he gets injured, Thunder will fire the coach. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Best three players have to be LeBron. Mm. Yeah, Steph Curry's been out. I would have chosen him, but definitely Kevin Durant in his place. And then Kawhi Leonard. And number one, Russell Westbrook, the right. hardest man on the planet, besides Deontay Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Westbrook is his... I think if you if you cut his hand, it's not going to be blood. It's going to be glucose or glucose. The guy has so much energy. And he's just 6'3". Okay, 6'3 is harder than me. <laughs> but for the NBA, 6'3 is not that tall. Yeah. But when you see this guy rise, you know, and what he does, he's very unselfish. He's a super... Obviously... In such a limited time today, he had 10 assists already. So, you know, Westbrook does it all. Like, he does everything. That's why he averaged triple doubles twice. Now, number two on that list, I would give it to... <sighs> this is hard. I'll give it to Kawhi Leonard. Okay, who is the best guard defender in the league? Clay Thompson. Yeah. And he's there already. So, when it comes to defense, they have it. Up front, they have Clay Thompson, down in the all, middle, all Kevin Looney guys, and KD. But remember, Draymond's a two-time defensive uh, player. No, one time. Mm -hmm. Two-time, check it out. No, I won. Uh, I'll check it out after this. All right. All right. Andrew Wilder is going to beat Fury tonight. Raptors are going to beat this guy. Oh, okay. Two predictions. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta take it. See, look, if I don't know his first name, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> look, we figured it out. We knew what the problems were. What was the problem? We won't tell you guys. It's it's, it's an internal thing. It's family, family issues. We don't we don't we don't air out family issues. I, I, I think if you're not careful, we might just sit down and watch that the Celtics miss the playoffs this season. Mm. I am ready to bet a car on that. Okay. Come from game. Kemba five. Anthony Davis. One day we'll talk about Anthony Davis specially. Okay. Now nah, he's just trying to be quiet for this guy. I nice. think LeBron deserves a whole day just because. Please. For what though? For what? <laughs> for I mean, what? For like Jeremy Lamb, which is he's going pretty good. Look, man, the only lambs I like, <laughs> you know, I eat them. So hey, <laughs> hey, apologies to all the vegetarians listening, by the way. I, From the whole town, you have to slow down, but baby, if you find you want to go down this deep well, okay, that's enough it's to it's go it's round. Fun. Da da, fine girl fell like Fanta. They under you a barrage. Ah, follow me, there is nobody but da. Say your mother da. Fine girl fell like Fanta. They under you a barrage. Follow me, I have a big. Wristwatch. This is the version of musical. As the two of us, we go the situation is critical for Finnish sound so <laughs> <laughs> not for us but right here yeah, that's a lovely sound and lovely music from Diddy K Mr. Yeah, yeah. Lower Feet Prince uh, Melody yes, sir. great song I know it's, it's someone's been here been spanking dad and now yes, playing <laughs> dad let's talk about the song a little bit are, are, you, are you Mr. Lover I, I would like to say no <laughs> <laughs> nah I'm, I'm a good boy I think Mm. But, you know, in the studio, actually, when we were trying to record, there was no title for this song. Actually, we just got the beat then, and I was trying to, you know, cook up something. And then somebody said something like that to me before right. we had started writing. I called me something similar. And obviously, I did is agree that, to Is there a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, yes. Ah. <laughs> Tyson Fury, John Tawada. Why you guys... You guys have stayed in the States. Uh, is that oh, why you guys are always on Do you want to win? <laughs> well, okay, so let, let me also be fair. I've also I've lived in Manchester, all and right. that is where Tassi Fury is from. All right. So, but the thing is, well, first of all, I'd like to support my black brothers, man, anytime. <laughs> that's, that's one. And then Respect. Wilder has this, like, if you listen to Wilder talk, you might think he's a rapper or a pastor. Like he just comes and he tells you things like speak, believe, and receive it in his mind. Like you, stuff you, like you that. watched the press conference when oh, yeah, I did. I did. Oh, yeah, it was about to. Ah, oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to keep talking. But while they talked, you could see the adrenaline was building up. Yeah. Now, the worst thing to do to a man when he's so hyped is to hold him back or to push him. One of um, these guys, one of Fury's people came and touched Wilder, like 
chill. And they was like, no, this is not the time for that. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then it became so, and then he was telling this guy, look, man, I've been fighting all my life. My people have fought 400 years. Obviously, it was referring to slavery and all yeah. that. My people have fought 400 years. Oh, they, 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 brought, they, talked, they, they were talking about all the rage and everything. And he's like, oh, man, I can't wait, man. But then from Fury's side, Fury has had mental some uh, mental, mental, mental illnesses, yeah. yes, for, for a while. He bounced back from that. He was overweight. He was fat. Very fat, yeah. Very and then, if you see him, if you saw him at the weigh-ins, man, yeah. this guy, whoa, he shaved the beard and everything. But he's now, you know, he's, yeah. he's very fit. And to come back from mental illness and to also come back from physical, like he was out of shape physically. To, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a big story. So if he's going to win, it will be good for him. But, you know, I'll be happy for him, but I'm rooting for Wilder. Because I want to see Wilder Joshua. All right. If you're... I don't care about Fury's story. I think it's a nice story. It's cute. <laughs> oh my god! I, I think to be honest, like uh, Wilder has the best story because um, if if we look at his story, he actually started boxing when he was eighteen. Mm. Um, he's what the 30, 31 now or thirty? Well, no, I don't think he's thirty one. He's thirty one. Oh, he, he he started fighting because his daughter was sick. Uh, she had a brain disease. So I think every time he gets in the ring and he fights, that that's his story. He's fighting for. So, I expect him to come out ferociously and really defend you, you his Wilder has to actually prove himself for the first time. What? Prove himself? Okay, yeah, with yeah. Fury. Yeah. But, but why is it that he's always insisting on fighting in the United States? He, he wants the home crowd behind him like yeah. any other fighter. So, it also depends on who the champ is at the time. And mm -hmm. the champ can get... So, for example, when Fury fought Vladimir Klitschko, he went to Germany. You know, to, to to have that fight. When most people now want to fight Anthony Joshua, you have to go to the UK. Yeah, you're yeah. fighting at Wembley, no yeah. doubt, because he has all those girls. You can't tell him where to go. He's a bad man.